All right. I can keep my K-style love while shopping in the plus size section from Korea. Except there's not a lot of options, but we take what we can get. This brand is called J-Style Everlast. However, I did shop these items from Kooting, which is a little bit easier to get your hands on without the whole like Google Translate situation. So that's tip number one. That's all I have. I hope you guys stay tuned because I went far beyond my skills to obtain plus size clothing items from Japan. And I've never tried anything plus size from Japan. I'm assuming that the sizing system is pretty much the same as that's not here yet though. But look at me. All right. I think it's time to get into our first item. This is a striped shirt. And we know we don't go there. But I went there today. This is the hair of Kara St. Cropnet. Interesting name. As a thickety chickety, you know I try to stray away from stripes. But something about this just called Maybe it's the full moon tonight. We're just shifting personalities. I'm kind of digging the stripes. I know it goes against everything I believe in. Because really, like... I do look wider. I love this color combo. It has this creamy neutral beige that blends in perfectly with this cartoon blue color. I mean, I just love how the color just sits on my shoulders like this instead of it being like this. Looking like a little nerd a dewey. This would have been labeled as like a 2XL. But again, a size US 10. Girl, this is fitting like a normal large. Something about the way it's cropped, it literally concaves back into your stomach. Giving you that like seconding effect, which is very likable. Look at the freaking sleeves, look. We just appreciate this length right here. This length, the length matches the length down here. It's like a good chunky block of a sleeve, like a block of cheese down here. I understand that the lifestyle and people are just smaller over there, and it's not me shitting on people. I think I got like a comment or so about that, and I'm like, dude, I'm not shitting on them. I'm just flabbergasted. And I understand, Americans are bigger. Trust me, I know. People in Asia are really small and tiny. That's the whole point of these hauls, is to show you what plus size looks like on a normal body over here, which is clearly fitting. Okay, so here's the thing. I look big. It just makes your shoulders droop and fall, stretched out. That's what you get from fall in love with stripes. Huh? Seriously, I think the only thing really helping this top is the fact that the collar spread its legs out. and naturally folds out into its own shape out here and I love that it's not constricting, freeing. Be careful. Wear a bra. Take as much structure as you can. I normally would not say yes to stripes. I'm just in my rebellion era. Doing things against my own will. And the quality, must I say? I love how tomboy I look in this. I'm very impressed we're definitely gonna keep this. Okay, you ready for this strap dress? Cause I am. So this is the size J1, basically 1 to 2 XL. I barely could get this button on. This to me is like a medium large. It's just so interesting to see what plus size around the world looks like. Cause guarantee you I go to Target and I buy something plus size, it's not gonna look like this. I have quadruplets. So this is the patient strap top dress, dress shirt tank top. You literally wear on top. I think that's gonna fix all our issues and our insecurities right now. So that's great. It is not unbuttoned. These are fake, don't be fooled. Okay, slip it on then, all right. I could barely raise my hand in this, but you know. I went with black, you see, because I just figured it'd be a little bit more slimming. Oh. No. Maybe a little too slimming. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. We got this. We totally got this. Like, we are totally a size 2XL in Korea, you know? We got this. See? You doubted me? The fuck? Oh my god. This is cute. Yeah. Look like a f***ing nurse. I know people hate these shoes, but it's literally the only pair I have in this room. <laughs> stupid fit. You look stupid. You look so cute and dainty on her. I straight up look like a try hard. <laughs> I'm a cosplayer. When in doubt, pull your sleeves up. Adds a little more skin. Is that better? She's a king. <laughs> it's not like a blousey texture. It's like a cheesecloth times three. Even if that was shorter, you know, for my short ass. What if I do tailor this and it's a little cuter? I know this looks mini skinky, but like, I need legs. Like, what do you want me to do? But you know what I mean, right? I look a lot cuter like this than like this. Girl. Girl. It has a very slimming tightening bodice that will literally keep you intact including your tatas like literally i went from a double d to like a a cup and this is all done non-surgical even my curves are i mean it's not really curving i can appreciate the poof of this dress shirt underneath that makes it look like an a line you won't catch me in broad daylight in this i feel like i'm offending myself like you right at dawn sis this is totally crooked my cleave is over here and this opening is over here i'm definitely looking lopsided but who cares i'm not gonna go in and fix this I understand that everything in this size, like 2XL in Korea, is gonna be this length for me. If I'm gonna fit the belly, I'm not gonna fit the legs. If I'm gonna fit the legs, I'm not gonna fit the belly. So like, that's just my fortune. And with a bad fortune I have, I'm gonna respectfully pack. Okay, maybe with this skirt, we'll have a little bit more hope. And 
And how do we feel? What are we thinking? First of all, let me address the top, actually. I was supposed to get this cardigan piece that came with this tank. It never showed up. We're just stuck with this tank. But I mean, it's kind of cute. It's in this olive army green. Actually, it's made for a bigger body like mine. So it actually feels like a real tank. It's nice and stretchy. Like, I kind of like it on its own. Like, imagine wearing this during the summer. I love thin strap tanks that literally, like, cut into your throat. Because you just, like, slimmer. It's almost a halter, but not as uncomfortable as a halter. So you could just, like, relax. Do you see the stretch? Has more of this knitted texture. The cardigan on top would have been so freaking stinking cute. But you know, you do what you gotta do. Okay, girls. Look at this. I'm so shiny. You can't even tell the camel took this. I'm so shiny. Protection piece down here. Get used to it. You're gonna order clothes from Asia. That's just how it is. It's a ruffle skirt. It's very stretchy. I believe this is a 2XL in Korea. It's like a regular large. You know I'm gonna complain about the length. I have to pull it up high. So it'll look okay down here. But then when I do that, I literally eat up my whole torso. And I'm left with titties that's all i'm left does it phase us no not really okay if i pull it to normal <laughs> girl you will not catch me don't you dare catch me catching you wearing this not with our body shape you better have learned something from my videos okay i know you learned a lot of what not to do but like i at least taught you something and it sucks that it's all boobs but like sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for the length you gotta suck Okay. Or we could just pull the full the top face so it won't eat up as much stomach as you want Oh, we do want our stomachs to be eating up <laughs> And then you still got some thighs peeking through That's better than nothing And you won't flash anyone because Whoa, you thought It almost looks like a cheerleader skirt but you can't really tell because the pleating is so minimal it's We'll keep, we'll keep Bear with me, we're just gonna keep the skirt on but let's try on this top I feel like Gia from Singles Inferno we clearly see that with the bra on or not on, we're just gonna experience a lot of um, unwavering obstacles. I trust these buttons with my life right now. I got this basically equivalent to a 1X in Korea instead of a 2X. And once again, I did myself dirty. Literally cutting my circulation up up here. Unless you like feeling choked in the armpits. This cardigan top, however, I really do like. I love this like tweed look, but I can never rock it because tweed literally adds like two pounds. I don't know why, but I'm gonna stand by that. I know this style is very popular in Korea. Get Miss Gia wore tweed herself on the beach that was like 108 degrees out. I just feel like in the Asian culture, if you wear anything tweed, like, you're just associated with power, money, and status. Me, I look like a stripper. It literally is gonna pop any second now. Oh, look how this nicely lays on my chest. Nice little dip right here. Outer piece is cuddling you. It has these cute square pockets with a pearl on it. Gold shimmer embedded within like the pattern. It's corded up with gold. But no, we can't have Like it. even this makes me feel like I'm wider and bigger than the striped top I tried on first. It makes sense. Ooh, now this next piece, I better like. I look big. I look hefty in this, girl. It almost looks like shiny from afar, but it's not in fact at all. It definitely looks like denim. And it plays around with all the ribbing and line with a nice bell cut sleeve. So you have this wide rib vertical. And then right at the elbow, it cuts into like this very like compacted vertical lining pattern. Similarly, like throughout the top. And then you have the collar in the bottom piece, the wider vertical stretch. And you can wear this off the shoulder. You could zip it all the way. But I'm just gonna keep it open because that's how Gil Gil, Miss Gil Gil, my queen, that's how she wears it. So I'm just gonna copy her because she is a fashion icon. The thickness it's giving me up here, I can Honestly, I think it's because it's manipulating like this horizontal look. So I guess you could wear it like this. But no, it makes me look like I can't breathe. I just think for a broad shoulder girl already, layers to this area is just not gonna help you out. My shoulders look like twice as buff. I just look top heavy, all right? And usually I'm belly heavy. I feel like my belly area is smaller than my upper zone. Again, the fabric, the design, and just everything about the look of this pattern is so likable to the eye but then when you put it on a body like mine just my honest opinion i feel like a slimmer girl wearing the this. added weight up here is not gonna affect her at all girl i cannot get away with this it this plus size girl did not win this time okay how about we try something more fitting I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. What is going on here, Faye? This is a trim knit wrap t-shirt. They call it a t-shirt, but it's obviously like a long sleeve. You have this extended warranty piece. All you have to do is fix your and strap. And then wrap this around and tie it to the dangler out here. Blow it up. Are we feeling it? You guys know me. I love trying to find pieces that are like very unique. You cannot find this in no H&M, Zara. That's where everybody shops. A little bit more bold and matte in this area because it's double wrap. And then a little bit more sheer. Ooh, I want to emphasize on this little like mock neck moment. I like how it kind of raises up without it squeezing out the gobble gobble again 
It ain't Thanksgiving. You put two little white bows in your hair to commence the bow down hair. That could be a moment. This wrap piece is big and long enough that it feels loose on the body right here. So it's not literally choking out your left boob by strangling it. But if anything, your left boobie is like hanging out and like spill. It has a little peekaboo shoulder. It's very cute for a long sleeve. I do wish I got in a different color. Something that doesn't make me look like a marshmallow. Maybe that's a thought. Like I don't know if I feel slim in this or if I feel like I'm just floating. Every piece we've tried has been a sprinkle of this, a sprinkle of that, which I like. It's not like it's just t-shirts and like elastic bands. Compare this to everything else we've tried. This is a key. This one might be a little weird, but just bear with me. I know it looks confusing. It's like a cardigan top. It feels like a little red riding hood moment where you just like slip this piece on. I feel like a big giant baby. You can't undo this piece. It literally is stuck to itself. Slip it right over your head and then run. It has a scoop detailing where it's not like that 90 degree cut angle. Very soft to the eye. I mean the color itself is very soft. The sleeves don't really have gripping so it's just kind of there. I think I got this in a size extra large. I mean the sleeves are nice and extra large but then like this area is definitely not extra large -y. The chesty besties literally end right here. You have a quarter left to fill, girl. It feels more like a cape. I'm just not sure how I would style this. I mean like I can't even really hide the chunky chunkies because my tootsie roll it down here, girl. You ain't hiding anything. What's the purpose? You know how Asian grandmas sometimes they just have like capes and things on top of their clothes because they're cold? Me. It is not my time yet, so I'm not sure where we're going with this, but I don't know. What's the point? <laughs> And I guess that's it to our Korean plus size haul. These clothes are definitely on the heavier side in Korea or even in general in Asia. I hope you guys got an idea of how it looks like on a normal US size 10 girl. What you gonna do? What they coming for you? Next time, we'll do Japan. Gotta go. Bye. I love you. Tell me what you do.